So will the Victory Gold insoles help you hit the ball further, but also not just hit the ball further, but help you play for longer, but by reducing the risk of injuries? Okay, so we all love tech, and me particularly, I love tech, and I think anything that makes a difference, even if it's only a tiny difference, is always worth considering. Now the guys at Victory have sent me some insoles, I've done a couple of videos already on them, but I'm gonna just hit a couple of normal golf shoes, no insoles in there, see what my club head speed is, and see how far I hit driver. So usual setup, put my swing on it. So it was a little bit out the toe, but 106 mile an hour club head speed, 153 ball speed, 279 total. Now I always say at the moment for me, I wanna get back over that 110 mile an hour. So that kind of feels pretty much a stock swing for club head speed. And now I'm gonna try and generate a little bit more speed and see what I can get up to. So we see there, 109 club speed, 156 ball speed. Again, not great strike or a great shot. But we can see there, nearly 110. So it's kind of there, but my shoes, I would say, are very comfortable. And the thing is, I coach on Swing Catalyst, so I understand that ground force is really important. And I know the major way I generate my force is by pushing into the ground, almost having that little jump. And certainly insoles have shown with basketball players that they do achieve nearly two inches extra height in their vertical jump. And an interesting stat that they've actually released is it's 41% less injuries around the foot and ankle area. So if you can be injury free longer, you're gonna play longer and better. And I've been wearing the insoles now for probably a couple of months, and certainly day to day, definitely feel that my feet are less tired from being on my feet all day. But let's slip the insoles in, and let's see, just by me working on the same stuff, what kind of improvement I can find. So it's always good to slip those shoes off. Kind of get your insoles that are in there out, and you see, nothing to it, just foam. Get rid of those. Get the Victory insoles in there. And it really does make a difference. Even though it's only a small percentage, everyone wants that little bit extra. And if you can get that little bit extra done, and it is noticeable straight away how that feels different in the shoes, and I'll be honest, those few drives I hit before felt unusual because I've had the insoles in for a while. So now my shoes just kind of feel more normal. But let's make that kind of stock swing. We saw that kind of just over 106 from a normal speed. Let's see with the insoles in. So a little bit more club head speed at 107 and a half. Ball speed, nearly 160. Launch it at 12 and a half, spin it at 2.6, 270 and 291. And it is interesting for me because I push down into the ground, that's where the definite advantage of a bit more vertical jump from these will help. And it is interesting, I'll, I'll put a video on screen now about kind of how much more almost springy to be untechnical that the insoles are, and it's definitely an advantage for me to be able to produce that. So let's go one more stock one, get that feel as to how I'm using the ground. So it wasn't as good a strike, and club head speed was only about the same there, but again, 263 and nearly 290. So definitely the one where I saw nearly 110, without the insoles in, it's when I almost feel I get that little jump going through impact. So with the insoles in, this is where I would expect to see the bigger pickup. So let's take aim, focus on that swing. So 109 club speed, didn't really see a pickup there, but 161 ball speed, and that gets me over 300 yards for the first time in a while. 
And what you've got to remember, if you are considering these insoles, I've got a link in my description that you can get yourself a pair, but this isn't going to be something that's going to add 30, 40 yards to your drives. But golfers are going out and spending five, six hundred dollars on a new driver, trying to pick up maybe those extra 10 yards, whereas something much less expensive that is proven technical kit in other sports, if you go on their website, there's a big long list of sports that they do, but this is something that you can have in your shoes for every single shot. So again, let's go for that little jump, see if we can get that club head speed up. So we see 110.3, 161 ball speed. Spun up a little bit, so just under 300. But it doesn't feel like I'm, even though I'm jumping there, it doesn't feel that exaggerated to see that little pickup. So let's go one more. Really try and get this club moving as quick as I can. Okay, nearly 111 club speed, nearly 163 ball speed. And again, just under 300 yards total. So in my opinion, the insoles do make a difference. Like I said before, we're not talking 40, 50 yards, but every little bit counts. And so much is made about tech nowadays, and even wearing the right shoe. But if you could benefit from an insole in there, which I definitely see a little bit for performance, but definitely for me not being as tired through the day, definitely something I'm gonna keep in there. Like I said, if you are interested in the pair, there's a link in the description below. If you have bought a pair, comment below and let me know what you think. Proven technology in lots of different sports, is it time that you should be putting something in your golf shoes to make you play better?